So it looks like the two intellectuals, Riva and Nissi, are about to clash. And this is about to get interesting. Feel up! Nissi, how are you feeling now? You banged before! You're not banging now! When you are at a level where you are considering your faith ahead of yourself, I am not gonna do a particular thing because this is what I believe to be true and I believe that I'm honouring God with my body. That is what you believe and that's what you will do. Hey guys, it's Brad Riley. Hope you guys are all doing well today. So we have the brand new back chat teaser for the upcoming episode that's due to come out tomorrow Thursday in the evening and it looks very interesting in terms of how everybody's reacting off each other I would say not more so the topic or the subject I wasn't not really interested or inclined to you know understand the complexities of what they're actually talking about whether it comes to relationships or whatever but it's interesting that people like B-Money says that he's able to last longer with people who's having fun with rather as opposed to full-on relationships and that could be because you know the constraints that people are tied around when it comes to relationship they are no longer tied with because obviously you know there's boundaries that have been placed there's fun but people might get feelings so it could be complicated in that manner and he makes another statement in relation to his daughter saying he's rather his daughter do one thing than the other i'm telling you and you're telling me you're, you're, you're not a man but you're young and you're in inexperienced that's why you're losing shy i think lips is more intimate than even head i would prefer if my daughter was sucking dick than having sex exactly to see Reva and Nissi clash at the end, I feel like it was very interesting because we have Nissi who really is holding her own ground. And then it's dead. And I'm like, number one, if it is, I'm gonna do what you do with most situations. I'm gonna pray over that situation. And I know that my God will not allow me to have abstained for so long to have rubbish sex. There's some people that go celibate or whatever they call it. That is like they're going mad. When it comes to the fact that she's proud to be a celibate, she's proud to, she's proud to have chosen God in terms of that path, to go down that path, to be proud of it, to speak about it as much as she can. And she She's therefore, you know, able to defend herself easily no matter who it is that is trying to, you know, come for her in that manner. In terms of the boys, I'm, you know, where's Lucas? I'm, I'm you know, that you need people who are gonna, who wears Max, the controversy. You need that on the show. You need it now more than ever because this season really is declining. It, it, I can see it clearly. I'm not really, I'm not really liking it. I've said it before and I'm gonna say it again. We need people like Max and Lucas. See only three to four boys on one side. Yeah, I like you. And you're like, okay, I'll you know, maybe I assume they were just busy or, you know, timetable conflictions. But at the same time, it's like, you know, I'd like to see Lucas and Max talking nonsense because you, you, you kind of like that drama. You need that kind of sprinkle of drama along with some intellectual conversation to make it a perfect blend of an entertaining debate. And that's something that Backchat is really known for because, you know, and it's a bit annoying because we were told in the trailer, you know, about uh, Esther going mad on Nunu, and it's, you know, certain scenes we were given in the trailer and we haven't seen them yet. So it's like, Backchat, what are you doing? Because like the fourth or fifth episode in and we haven't seen any of that. So you're really just pushing us on. And it's a bit annoying, to, to be honest, in my opinion, because I, I would have wanted to have seen those scenes ASAP to keep me linked in to the entire season, but rather they are dragging us on. Nevertheless, I'm interested in this episode. I feel like there are going to be some important scenes, especially from Adrian talking about what he was as well. And um, I am looking forward to it indeed. It looks like Esther and Nuno are getting on as well. It's like a love drug. You know, all of a sudden you're in love with him. <laughs> Maybe the way it's edited for us is seen as if at this point of time that they don't get along. But we've seen that scene where Esther gets very heightened in terms of her emotions. So I'm very keen to see what happens between those two. So I'll hurry up and show that down after the batch chat because we are all waiting for it. I'm sure that, that should have been the episode that should have started the season. Because I just feel like that would have been... That would have hit. That would have started the season with a bang. It would have been trending on Twitter again because hasn't trended on, hasn't trended on Twitter for ages. That would have just you know carried on. I feel like from a marketing perspective, that should have been the first episode. But who am I to say? I'm just a viewer and a reviewer. Let me know what you guys think of the trailer. Let me know what you guys think about Nissi and Reba. What's going on there? Esnuna getting along. Be money statements. Thank you guys for watching my smaller review of this teaser. Keep an eye out for the episode tomorrow coming out in the evening. I'm I'm talking like I'm getting paid to promote them in this way the, the way i'm saying tomorrow evening 8 p.m like I'm, I'm doing the absolute most anyway that was that tomorrow um, i'm gonna watch it as well and obviously my review will be up thank you guys for watching my small little review hit me up on my instagram my website the videos are below thank you guys for watching and i'll most definitely catch you guys soon